absorbing, thinking about Ali, even though I never met him. And with this kind of inspiration, I will go and take Trump out tonight. <laughs> Those words have been interpreted as an attempt on the president's life. Oh, How did you intend them? <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. Nobody believes that uh, a 79-year-old grandmother uh, who is a congresswoman and who has been in Congress and in uh, politics for all of these years talking about doing any harm. The only harm that I may be doing to the president is I want him impeached. And those people who are so opposed uh, to my leadership on impeachment are organizing the right wing, uh, the white nationalists, the KKK. They have organized an effort to try and, of course, defeat me in my election coming up and to discredit me. Everybody knows that I'm on the front lines, not talking about any physical harm to anybody, but I am talking about impeachment, and I'm not going to stop. I believe this president is not worthy. I think that this president uh, should not be representing our country. He has alienated our allies. He continues to lie day in and day out. He creates controversy. He can't get along with the members of Congress. He needs to be impeached. I want him impeached, and I'm going to continue my efforts to call for his impeachment. So when you were saying take him out, you were talking about your efforts to impeach him. Let me ask absolutely, you something. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, understood? Yes. Gave you the opportunity to respond to it. Thank yes. you for taking it. You're welcome. Um, so let's say it wasn't a threat uh, against yes. the president's person, but this talk is ugly talk on yes, both it sides. Is. Yes. Do you believe that uh, you and others should start and be the change that you want to see and have a high level of decency? in how you discuss those whom you want to criticize, especially when it's the president of the United States? I think that I have been extremely responsible in laying out the case for why this president should be impeached. I know that the right wing, the uh, white nationalists, all of those who are organized around this president do not like this. And people are not accustomed to a woman in particular, an African-American woman, taking this kind of leadership. How dare me uh, challenge the president of the United States? But we have never witnessed a president who has been as irresponsible and as dangerous as this president. And I think that we need to step up to the plate and tell the truth and speak truth to power. And that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. I know it's unusual. Uh, people haven't seen anything like this before. Uh, but I believe that for as long as I've been a member of Congress, uh, a legislator, having worked in the California state legislature prior to come to Congress, that I have learned to accept responsibility. And I know that it seems controversial and it's unusual. People are so accustomed uh, to politicians patting each other on the back and saying nice things about each other and hiding the truth and not letting people know how they really feel. I'm not that kind of person, and I'm going to continue to call it like it is and speak truth to power and say that this president is not capable of managing this country in a responsible way. And I think the Congress needs to step up to the plate. We have the power. We have the power to determine whether or not constitutionally he has committed high crimes and misdemeanors. That's our decision to make. I am saying to the, our members, let's do it. Let's move. We cannot allow this president to destroy this country. You would have to have a vote. That's what impeachment is.